Feel yes, special. Yeah. Yeah. Unreal. Can we swear on this? <laughs> LF, we LFG. Yeah. <laughs> <Exclamation> <laughs> point. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Golf Podcast, episode number 403. And today we're going to take you into an interview. We actually recorded this about two weeks ago. This one was a lot of fun, Mike. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. Yeah. So we had Adil Yang and Jake Hutt on the podcast. I actually had him here in studio, uh, which by the way, if you're watching this on, on YouTube or Facebook or in the Golf Assy app, uh, please never mind how the studio looks in this one because we were in the process oh, yeah, we were in the, mm. of, uh, of revamping a little bit. But we, we, we couldn't pass on the opportunity because um, these guys rolled up in, we're going to tell you all about it, but it's drive box. Right. Effectively what it is, is a golf simulator on wheels. So they mentioned that they, they, you know, want to come by the office and then they roll up in this thing. And I mean, it's very hard to describe how cool it is without seeing it. You yeah. know, and we'll, we'll, we'll show you guys more about this. And I'm sure in the future, Mike, I'd love to do some collabs with them. I would. I mean, talk about the ultimate tailgate like hero. Yeah. If you have this thing or you get these guys, but they're killing it. And if you guys don't know Jay Cut, you've probably seen him on social media, TikTok. He's the guy who gives those great golf tips, fast, super simple, and fun using auto-tune music. And I right. love that. Being a musician myself, I love him. I'm just like locked in on him, singing about just the basic stuff we struggle with. Yeah. You know, when we're doing so. So they did roll up. I'm not going to talk too much about the drive box. We'll let them tell their story. But guys, super cool. Can't wait for them to launch. And they're going to create a bunch of these. And similarly, uh, well, in the interview, we get into it with, with Jake of talking about why you know he does something that no one else is doing there's a lot of instruction yep. that we see obviously on social media uh but the way he does it kind of at this auto tune uh is just hilarious but there's a very specific reason too why he does it which i found really interesting so we dive into that with you know into that all with him here as well um but again i i think one thing and you'll, you'll hear it in the interview which we'll jump to in a moment um one thing that I think, not only the cool factor, as you said, Mike, with the, uh, the tailgating aspect or, or anything like that, but also we talk all the time about growing the game. And I think what they've found here with Drivebox is a, is a very smart, simple, and creative way to do that. Mm -hmm. Because one part of golf that can be challenging is it can be sometimes a little bit inaccessible and you think about you have to have a golf course near you that golf course has to be something that's affordable that's not private or whatever otherwise you don't necessarily have a space to play the game so by bringing the game to people with this concept with drive box with a a, a golf simulator on wheels and especially now with where we're seeing such dramatic advancements in the um accuracy of simulators and simulators being able to be in smaller and smaller spaces and be highly, highly accurate. They're able to do that here. And it is a situation where you're playing golf, but also combined of having Jake on the team, who is an instructor and being able to bring this mobile kind of learning facility. So not only is it fun to be able to play a round of golf in the sim, but the fact that he can take it to places and give lessons and introduce people to the game in that way where they're learning the game new and 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 in a way that they're learning the game but it, it's, it comes to them, I think is one more way that we're removing barriers to entry and I think that is one way that we can help grow the game. Yeah, and I you know I saw him recently. I was on Instagram. I was checking out his stories, and you know I noticed last week they just posted up where they just did a seminar for a bunch of young kids. Yeah, and they just came through, and they got a couple lessons from Jake, and they got to hit a golf ball, and everything was there for them to do. And I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I like to see. So definitely give it a look. It's it's Drivebox D R Y V B O X. That's how you can find it. Uh, also, if you're following Jake on on social, uh, you've seen it because he puts it on his his um, social media a lot. We'll link to everything in the show notes, which you can get to by going to golfacy.com slash episode 403. But let's not keep you guys waiting any longer because we've got really a, a great uh, a great interview here. So let's hop right Lots in. of laugh out loud moments. There is yeah. lots of laugh out loud moments. But we had just a genuinely fun time talking to these guys. And just two, you know, when you talk about Adil and Jake, two guys who can't come to the game of golf from such different backgrounds yet they had this idea that they're working through together that i think is going to be just absolutely explosive in the game and you'll hear more about it in a second but let's just dive right into the interview and you guys can see why all right mike we got our first uh in-studio guest it is our first in -studio. it is our first so yes. guys uh you guys are the first 
in studio with Feel us special. here. Yeah. Unreal. Can we swear on this? Uh, we, yeah. try. Yeah. we try. Not to. We try. LFG. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> so we've got Jake Hutt and Adil Yang with us, and they just rolled up in Literally. something epic. Literally epic. Yeah. I mean, epic. The drive, the drive box. box. Guys, give us the, I guess, the elevator speech on this thing, what it is. It's a portable driving range. <laughs> just like, like that. That's it. And the show's Golf over. Right, on wheels. That's sweet. I mean, it is just that. We got to, to test it firsthand. These guys rolled in from California. Thanks for making the trip over. Um, you literally post up, and I, I mean, I have you explain more, but I'm talking track man, hangout area, the ultimate bachelor party tailgate. Tell, tell us more about this thing. Yeah. I want to know like, where the idea came from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adil, go ahead. Yeah, once, I, I got to hear how this started. I feel like it's the one of those real, things that once you story. see it, it's like, yeah. it's like, oh, why did this not exist before? It's so obvious, but it didn't. So it was tell a us. battle getting here. Adil, yeah. go ahead and, yeah. and, 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 and start. Yeah. So so I'll start with, with where the idea even came from. So I, I'm a pretty new golfer. I've only been playing for about two and a half years. And uh, I was getting really addicted to the game. And then the pandemic hit. So I was like, shoot, I can't, you know, I need a place to practice. So mm -hmm. I try to convince my wife to put, let me put one of these in like simulators in my, in my house. I live in San Francisco. My wife is like, hell no, you're not putting a simulator in the house. <laughs> yeah, where are you Sacrificing your kid's bedroom. Like no way. <laughs> yeah. So you sleep so, on the couch, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, out of desperation, half jokingly, I was like, well, what if I got a big trailer and I could put, put the simulator set up in there I could play, I could bring it to my friends, I could be out of the house. My yeah. wife's like, don't care, as long as it's out of the house. So I just started tinkering Green light. with it. Green, Green light. light. Okay. Green light. Yeah. I started tinkering and it, it, you know, the prototype was like this ugly aluminum box. Mm -hmm. And, but it worked. I mean, you could take a full swing in there. I didn't care about how it looked or felt. I just wanted to make sure it's functional. Yep. And as I was building this, I was like, oh man, if I'm really gonna build a golf company. So my background's in medicine. I'm actually a physician. And, you know, I had done a lot of entrepreneurial endeavors in the past. So I just sold my company and I was like, well, I'm going to build another company. But this golf thing just took over. Yeah. And I was like, but I'm not a good golfer. It'd be embarrassing if, you know, a, a building a golf company and I'm not, I'm not even going to share my handicap on this <laughs> on my podcast. So I went out searching for a partner. And um, the way I did it was I just took lessons with all these great coaches. And within about five minutes with Jake, I was like, that's my guy. Yeah, like, yeah. It was very obvious, like the chemistry, the authenticity, the energy. So the rest is history. I mean, I was like, Jake, let's pause the lesson. I want to, I want to tell you my idea. Yeah. 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 I remember that lesson. Yeah. That was great. You're like, yeah, uh, if you would mind stopping 15 minutes before the lesson ends, I've got a proposal <laughs> for you. <laughs> and he, he, he pitched me on, you know, on, on everything. I remember getting home and I was like, I think something really cool just happened today. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if, you know, what's going to come of it, but you know, here we are. Here we are. Right? Um, now, how long ago was yeah, that? How long to, to where we're at now? To get to basically. here. About October, November last year. Oh, wow. It's about a year ago. Wow. For what you've built, that's quick. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Super I'd imagine fast. you guys are putting the hours in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an obsession. You just, you don't even feel like it's work. It's just it's like golf. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 And that's how we feel about this. It's yeah. just, a, we're obsessed. Yeah. yeah. You, know? you guys have been doing it for 10 years. That's yeah. incredible. Oh, Flies. Right. Yeah. Insane. But I, Jake, I want to talk about your involvement too, because first and foremost, like nobody, like this, everybody's doing golf lessons. Nobody's doing what you're doing, and and I say that in the <laughs> best possible way. Yeah, I mean, what you've been doing is, it, and it it shows how we've just seen you kind of you're everywhere now on TikTok and Instagram and everything like that, and you just kind of have a way of like presenting the information that is so relatable and understandable. I mean, it's entertaining at the same time, and, and we'll, we'll put the links in the video description in case anybody hasn't seen, otherwise everyone knows what I'm talking about with the way you present it. But what is, you know, how did that come to be? Like, where, where did you come up with this idea to present information the way you do it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's evolved a lot. So it started with just, you know, I wanted to, I knew I had to, to, to create content, you know, to start putting out golf tips. And I, you know, I, I was learning the game. Everyone's constantly learning. I'd, you know, I'd watch YouTube videos and they'd be 30 minutes long and I'd, you know, be scrolling through and it's like, okay, 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 okay. Where's the, like, oh, okay, there's, there's the little nugget. Yeah. Just took me 10 minutes to find it. Like, why didn't you just say that and just keep, you know, keep it 10 seconds. Right. And at the time, like Instagram, you could only post minute long videos, right? So you could, 
it had to be under a minute. And so I, I kind of was just like, okay, I want to give people just the, just, just the tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's and, it. and that's it. Right. Uh-huh. Um, and so it started out as that. And like, I don't know where I, I, I like the first couple of videos I had to like end it somehow. I couldn't just say like, you, you could, there has to be some ending. Right. And so I, I did that, like the, the click thing. And that was like, kind of was like, okay. Yeah. Like, like that was kind of a, a thing. And, it, and there was a, there initially there wasn't any music. And then I was like, I was walking around the house and I was like, you know, like, Humming a song, I was like, I just, I want, like, I, I want to play some G with my friends, but they won't invite me because I was like, okay, well, let's just turn that into a song and <laughs> slap it at the end of the video. So right. I, at first, it was just kind of a dry video of me talking, but I would rehearse the lines. It was, it was all like I knew exactly what I wanted to say and how I wanted to convey the information. I knew it, it had to be short and it had to be kind of well thought out. You know, I, I, the, I remember day one at the back of the Stanford driving range. Um, I set up a camera and I, I must, I, I just bumbled over my words for probably four hours. I was like, Oh my God, this is like, this is, this is like, I've, seen, I've seen it firsthand. And, uh, and then, again, okay. So yeah, there has yeah, to be yeah, some yeah. planning and some thought. And so, um, the first video is, yeah, it was just kind of a dry golf tip. The music was kind of slapped at the end, kind of funny and, you know, playful. And then it kind of just slowly evolved, um, over time where, and I, it was actually someone commented on because one of the songs kind of had to do with the tip, mm-hmm. not really. And a lot of the songs were just kind of you know like playful music that kind of had to do is like I suck at golf, I suck at golf, but they're like there's a tip, right? And then like someone commented like yeah, like Jake does like the song is the tip, and I'm like oh shit, like oh okay, well let's let's play around with that. And so then it then it started to I started to try to make the music more geared towards the tip. Um, mm-hmm. And then it just kind of like, I just tried to get crazier and crazier and crazier with making the song, the tip mm-hmm. and have it yeah. also be catchy. So you could sing along to it. And it's, it's obviously way easier to remember something that you can kind of sing. Yeah. And so people, you know, people started kind of talking and it's like, I, I, I'm humming your, like your, your tip on the course. Yeah. Like that is like, that's how you learn. That's what you yeah, want. Yeah. It's just so much and, and, and it's fun. It's short. And so it's just, it's, it's evolved a lot. Um, from like if you scroll back and look at the first videos versus now and it's just yeah it's it's been a ton of fun. Do you um, have a musical background or are you just like a, a shower singer who just got auto? Yeah, like, I mean, I, so I uh, I grew up taking piano lessons, okay. guitar. I was producing music when I was 13, 14. I had one of the Task Game 424. Had you know drums, had all the instruments cool. at home. So that I was always kind of battling with that in hockey. Probably one of the reasons I didn't go as far as I wanted to, you know, stand up before a game, you know, <laughs> four in the morning recording a song. Yeah. So it was always there. Uh-huh. Um, and I, I knew it, it never went away, but it kind of, you know, with golf is like, okay, well like let's get music and golf involved. And then it just kind of from there, just kind of kept growing and growing and growing. Yeah. That's um, cool. All right, guys, I want to take a quick break from the interview to thank our sponsors. First and foremost, Titleist guys, the golf season may be winding down in many places, but the holiday gift giving season is starting to heat up. So whether golfers on your list are out, still out there playing or just stocking up for the next season, Titleist golf balls make the perfect gift. Mike, I know I, yeah, I've yeah, given yeah. plenty of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's it, perhaps the best stocking stuffer there is. So any golfer would be thrilled to unwrap a dozen of the Pro V1, Pro V1X, Pro V1X, Left Dash, which Mike has been experimenting with, the AVX golf balls, which I love. Um, there's just so many different golf balls out there. You, you can really go with the most trusted golf ball in the world. And they deliver that performance every time to help you shoot those lower scores. And what makes the, what makes the number one ball in golf, the number one golf gift in golf as well. So make the holiday seasons even happier this season. Learn more about gifting the Titleist Pro V1, Pro V1X, Pro V1X, Left Dash, and AVX golf balls and all things Titleist at Titleist.com. It gets cooler when you customize them too. That's true. It does. It adds a little bit of flavor to it. It adds a little customization to the ball. Order in advance if you want to do that. You got to order in advance for that. For sure. But also want to thank FootJoy. FootJoy has been the number one shoe on tour for 75 years. They were innovating then, and they continue to innovate today with a simple goal to elevate their game so that you can elevate yours. Uh, They build golf shoes for every player, every swing, every stance, and everywhere that you might play in the world. Whether it's the style and the performance of the Premier Series, the precision fit of the Hyperflex, and the traction and the comfort of that Pro SL, uh, or the number of other shoes. They have tons of shoes, guys. Uh, FootJoy offers golf shoes that's right for your 
golf game. They're passionate about progress, and this is the best that their game has ever looked. So find the shoe that's right for you at footjoy.com slash shoe finder and use that little tool because, guys, it's super cool and it is very helpful. It is fun to use and it's free to use, so give it a look. All right, let's jump right back into our interview talking about Drivebox. One thing I like, yeah. too, what you do with your videos is visually. I mean, yeah, the song is mm-hmm. great and it hammers on, but I, I think what makes it easy to comprehend is what you do with, with those visuals. So mm-hmm. is that something self Are you editing these videos yourself? Yeah, so is that I, self-taught, too? I, I do it all. I learn. I mean, I've, I've been... I mean, golf taught me how to learn, right? That's yeah, a whole separate yeah. conversation, but like how to... And I've always been fascinated with learning new things and, and just mastery of skill and, you know, whatever, all that. And so just watching YouTube videos... Um, if at first it was just a, a phone in an iPad back of the range, I could mm-hmm. just, I would slap it together, throw it, go, you know, work, work the shop and, you know, whatever, close up all that. And then got, you know, I was like, well, no one's really doing kind of, no one's doing the, the, the cinematography kind of the different shots. So I started, you know, kind of researching like how to, like what cameras to buy. How do you mm-hmm. even use one of these cameras yeah. and kind of watching, getting inspired by different movie cuts and shots and like yeah. how, you know, I want to make this tip just really pop and, you know, have the camera angles be really good. The, the, everything just is just an epic product, right. That you can kind of sing. Remember, it's also fun to watch. So it's been, it's been, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a, a process. It takes a ton of time, <laughs> I bet, I bet. <laughs> um, but I mean, it, I'm, well, there's I'm no upset. doubt it's worked. I mean, cause you're, you're, what you're doing is standing out amongst a sea of instruction. There's no doubt. Yeah. There's a lot of people trying Seriously. to do what you do and yeah. you just do it well. And that's why it stands Thank out. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, Talk to us a little bit, diving back into Drivebox. Mm-hmm. So obviously getting a little bit of background, it looks like you guys have very complementary skill sets in, in a lot of ways and it's how this could work well together. But what's kind of, what is the the mission moving mm-hmm. forward here? What are, we, what are we looking to do with it? I mean, obviously we saw it. It's an amazing product as golfers. We're drooling over it. But what are we looking ultimately to accomplish? You know, I think a lot of people say, you know, they want to grow the game. Yeah. I think we do too. But we see a little bit differently. Um, we think that if you take all the barriers, and I've personally experienced this, right? So, you know, I didn't grow up in a family or a culture that necessarily says, oh, you got to go play golf or learn golf. And so by the time I got into the sport, you know, there's all sorts of like, what if? Like, what mm-hmm. if I could have, mm-hmm. you know, learned how to swing when I was much more flexible or, you know, I have like 35 years of bad habit? You know, how do you get rid of that? So to me, um, there's a huge component of getting kids into the game, uh, bringing this out to communities where people just don't have exposure. And so mobility to us is one of our biggest competitive advantage. And when we think about growing the game, we literally want to put thousands of these units all over the country where golf isn't actually normal or yeah. isn't around. Yeah. And to me, that is is a really cool mission. Making the game more accessible. That's what mm-hmm. we want to hear. And how many do you have now? In up We got five of these. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think yeah. it's it's the timing is so perfect because we're seeing golf evolving to something beyond the course for, far more than I've ever seen before. Mm-hmm. You know, we're seeing a lot of indoor spaces open up. It, it, it's solving a, a big problem of pace of play mm-hmm. of people who can't play maybe even regionally because mm-hmm. of the weather or whatever it may be. And we're seeing huge advancements in the technology that's making the accuracy of playing indoors so yeah. much higher. I mean, we even just saw recently with Titleist launching the RGT balls that are yep. going to work with the track. And, and I think, honestly, I think that that was a, a story that kind of hit, but I don't think it's driven home yet of how mm-hmm. big this really is going to be. Yep. Because once you start to get to that point where we're saying reliably accurate that this, that in these short spaces that we're hitting, these short mm-hmm. bays, that it is spot on, mm-hmm. I think you're going to see an explosion because now people are, they don't have to go as far to play go- uh, around. They don't have to spend as much, mm-hmm. and they can play with their buddies, maybe who don't play. They're, you have a great mm-hmm. hangout space that you guys yeah. have built into this, mm-hmm. and on top of that, they can play around a golf in like an hour or something. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. It's, or they don't even have to play golf. They play capture the flag or close to the pin. Like you can get so creative with. It can golf. be so many you, things. You can yeah. you can do a ton of different things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then how how does it open up any type of doors for you from a lesson standpoint? Yeah, I mean it's. <sighs> You can obviously, you can teach anywhere. I mean, I, I took, I was at Stanford for six years. So I took, you know, 
my, my book of business is like, is this going to work? Will people come back? Will they, is, what is this experience like? And the first truck looked nothing like this one, yeah. um, right? It was right. pretty ugly. It was, <laughs> we had pool noodles on the side and the walls were like slapped together. I don't even know. What I one. went to Walmart, Walmart, got a bunch of those carpet tiles and just hand, there you go. Kind of like, you know. Yeah, yep. we know. We know. We've been there, yeah. Yeah, you go back into our very first video and you can see how much. Sure, I mean, guys, this is fake brick behind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I call it? Out, but it's all good <laughs> hey but i think that's where like the passion shows through i mean if you're willing to start there and start somewhere i think so many people they there's two parts of like of, of really launching a good business there's the idea with a lot mm -hmm. of us have but then there's the execution oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and i think part of that is pushing through that beginning phase where it's like you got to say i know i want to be perfect it can't be this moment let's just go mm -hmm. um what kind of challenges have you found in, in this first initial launch as you start the business Besides We're, wheels falling off, <laughs> did you guys see that? No. Okay. So, oh boy. Oh, gotta tell the story. Okay. All right. Do you want to tell it? Go, you start. Right, I'll, right, I'll start. I'll so, interject. <laughs> a brand new trailer. We just took it um, from our manufacturer, and basically cruising uh, two hours into the trip, two wheels on the left side just fall off the trailer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, and, we're we're driving, so yeah. We're, let, we'll, let, so backtrack, backtrack. Okay. So we get you know. We're in there kind of working on it. And, and one of the cool parts of the, the the plant that we go to is it's it's like a kind of a mom and pop style shop that allows yeah. us to go in there and kind of say, okay, well, mm -hmm. can we change this? Can we bend that? Can we, yeah. you know, slap something on that? And so it's mm -hmm. like we're, you know, a part of, of, of making it. It wasn't like we went to some big yeah. manufacturing yeah. plant yeah. and they just, they threw something out. Like we're like slapping the, you yeah. know, it. like okay. our padding on the yeah. walls yeah. and sure. like. It's yeah. still, you know, still gritty. And so yeah. we, we must have been there for four or five hours yeah. getting everything yeah. together. Yep. And we finally were, you know, we're all stoked. We're yeah. like, we're like, uh, they're in like, music, yeah, music yeah, blaring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Windows <laughs> down. Yeah, yeah. Windows yeah. down. We're on our way to Rhode Island. Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden it's like this weird, like whoosh. I thought the brakes went out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I was like, what? I in, thought I ran something over. Literally, I, I don't know. I like, thought like you were like trying to put the brakes on yeah. it and like, I was like, oh God, like, yeah. like we're gonna we're gonna drive off this cliff. And we look back, there's smoke. And there's smoke just oh. everywhere. And we're like, what? So I've pulled over. Now this is like um not a very wide, you know, we'll call it like highway. So we've got a very small emergency lane to work with. So semis were like zooming past us as we were like stuck on the side of the road. And we're, we're like halfway like, into the first lane. Yeah. Like <laughs> with this rear view mirror, I see like a wheel about 10 yards behind. You know, this trip. I was the like, the last thing you want to see. Yeah, in, yeah, in my yeah. mind, I was like, oh, trip is over. And maybe even the company, like, who knows? Right, right. Right. <laughs> All sorts of negative thoughts. Yeah, well, we had a good run. And of yep. course, yeah. yeah. Of course, Jake, like, being the ultimate positive guy, is like, can we go live? I was like, no. no. I wanted <laughs> to open it up. Time. I wanted to open it up on Jake's the side like, of the freeway. Let's just play golf on the side of the freeway. I was like, that yeah. was not the time. <laughs> I was like, dude, like, let's let's do it. And and obviously, we, we, yeah. we're, we're not that stupid. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I am. I am. <laughs> So eventually a cop shows up, help us kind of redirect traffic a little bit. And we're examining basically the cause of the, we'll just say the lug nuts weren't tightened. So mm -hmm. obviously. Well, the phone calls like, were funny first. Cause first yeah. we had to go and we had to call all these, yeah. these tow companies and they're like, what, like, yeah, we're on the side of the road. Uh, you know, they're like, what do you, yeah. what do you, we have a trailer. They're like, how big is it? We're <laughs> like, it's kind of 30 feet long uh they're like what's in it we're like uh nothing yeah uh, it's <laughs> kind of just an open space their head we play golf in it they're yeah. like what yeah we're not gonna tow that so i mean we, we must have called uh, i don't know everyone exactly. it's like an 87 sheep we all you know like double yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, right. and they were like we can't tow you if you're already towing the trailer yes and so exactly. we're like, we get it fair <laughs> enough <laughs> and so brilliantly the one of the tow drivers that came on scene was like, well, let's let's try and see if we can take one of the good wheels on the on the right side, because the axle is still intact and there, it's two axles, so we could potentially put two wheels um, and ride off of one axle and just get off the freeway. So we did that; it worked. As we were rolling, they were like, well, you're you're kind of stuck here for the night. You can't drive with one axle. So. Um, well, at least Jake. you could play golf. Yeah, so Jake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. The, and the two guys. So the, the 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 cop pulls up, and the you know, and and he's asking like like what is this? We're like it's yeah. awesome. And he's like, dude, this is freaking awesome. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I like can I can get I take your pictures? card? Can I take <laughs> pictures? Yeah. The, the, the cop tow, was all into it. the tow driver was. Uh, was I mean, great. he was he was he'd never played golf before either. Yeah. And um, you know they're kind of looking around, and oh, it's cool so, to anybody. I mean, that thing. Yeah, yeah, like it, it it's right. it's a new thing, and so they. Uh, we we get the tires situated, whatever. We we roll it off to um, the back of a hotel, yeah. like a Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn, yeah. and 
you've got to like you, you're taking care of, of 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 paying the guy, and then yeah. I'm like. You guys like you guys want to hit some balls? Yeah, <laughs> Jake's like, you guys want to play some golf? Yeah. So, I'm like, and then Toad Driver was like, I got nothing to do. He's with like, that. yeah. He's like, I've never played golf before in my life, and we're like, perfect. He calls <laughs> his tow truck buddies, and there's like four, four, four or five big of them. tow trucks. Yeah, parked in the back of Holiday Inn. All these tow drivers came, and we we had a party. That's so funny. We, we opened the, the thing up and Inn. like gave, gave them all a lesson. They were doing a little long drive competition. How cool! And I went live on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, that was a good time to go live. Yeah. Po- posted yeah. like, wow, posted that. Yeah, there was and... no tow truck drivers at all in the area that night available. Right, yeah. right. But, <laughs> but you guys had fun. Right, I like that. And it was like the yeah. ultimate yeah. like we. We ended up well. They ended up opening the uh, opening the shop yeah. for us at nine thirty and, and and fixing fixing us up so that we could actually we yeah. could go. I'd say uh, they had a good time. Yeah, they were yeah. like, let's help these guys yeah, out. So they cool. literally opened the shop it, at like nine o'clock at night. It, oh wow! And gave us a wheel so that we could have three wheels, which was <laughs> we had a tea safe and close enough. enough. We had a tea, enough, enough, we had a tea time uh, with the, Dan the next morning. Dan Copen played for the played for the Patriots. Him and Tip um, and tea time was at what nine o'clock. And so we, we were like, you in know, Rhode to, to, to the to- mm. in Rhode Island, we were in, in the middle of nowhere, yeah. Pennsylvania with three tires. So yeah. we were like, how, how can like, can we, like, can we, can we go? He was like, <laughs> I'm not saying this. He's like, just st- I, like, would you do it? He'd, yeah. he'd be like, I'd send it. We're like, all right, that's all we need. That's all we need. <laughs> so we this, need. This he's like, just don't go best. over 45 miles yeah. an hour. Yeah. So it took us what? Nine hours, nine and a half hours. We get there an hour before the tea Cause time. we were Troopers. basically cruising at like yeah. 40 miles an hour yeah. just to be safe. Yep. And you know, praying the tire w- wouldn't fall off. Like yeah. we didn't know it, it easily yeah. could have, and right. we could have been completely yeah. effed. But uh, to go from like the trip being over to then like Jake and I cruising at like one o'clock in the morning, like we're going to make it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like we went from the lowest of low to the highest. But yeah. it was, like, it I was, was like on adrenaline that's crazy. the whole I think time. in more than one way that proved that you're going to make it. Yep. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even just as you saw the proof of concept, the, the excitement it built, even you talk about growing the game around right. non-golfers. Exactly. So I think that's exciting. Exactly. exactly. I mean, like, there were these tow truck drivers that half of them never mm-hmm. held a club before. Yeah. And they had a blast, right? They're, it, it, Golf is powerful. The yeah. funny yeah. thing mm-hmm. is it's like people that have never played, they're like adults. They're like, it's almost like I, I I don't deserve even holding a club. It's like, dude, like, because there's that stigma about golf. Right. It's like I, you know, like you, you have to grow up in a like with a yeah. a, a, a country or, or, club family yeah. with a like. Yeah. It's like, dude, take the club, smash the ball, have fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. And like the the second shot, the guy like the first the the first second shot he hit, or I should say, the first time he made contact with it, <laughs> yeah. he had this look on his face. He was like, he was just like oh mm. my god, like in yeah. that like. To us, we were yeah. just so jacked just to yeah. see. It was like that. that that's that's, that's our mission right there mm, yeah. is to bring golf to yeah. to the everyday golfer, the every the 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 I don't know how you put it, just the, your everyday dude or, or yeah. girl, yeah. gal, whatever. Yeah. Um, and you, you guys know that. Fe- I mean, every golfer knows that feeling when you like hit the ball square on the face for no the doubt. first time. Yeah, it's such a like electric right. and then you're experience. Hooked. And you're hooked. Yeah, exactly. we want to give that to everybody. Yeah, yeah. that's and, it. And I love about it is too. It's it's such an easy gateway in transition into the game because on the other side, like you're talking about is if I've got a buddy who's never played it, it's kind of a big commitment to bring him out to oh, the course, yeah. oh, do yeah. that whole thing. Oh, yeah. like, what are you going to wear? What do you got? Oh, yeah. But yeah. something like this, you know, we, you roll up and maybe it's a, a, a party, a corporate event or whatever it may be. It's like, you know, just pop by and then how easy is it to go in there and take a swing? Exactly. So I think that when we talk about growing the game, it's just kind of like lowering those barriers yep. as yeah. much as possible. And what you guys got here is a big way to do that. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that's cool. And now we were talking about tailgates. You, you got one coming up. You haven't tried it yet? Yeah, we, we haven't. Well, we've done our own little parties for our own of course. Sunday night games and right. stuff. But, um, you know, not, not formally. And we've got one. We're at Stanford Fan Fest this Saturday. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's going to be it's going to be wild. Very that should cool. be pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. And then what's ultimately the mission? I know you said about many mm-hmm. of these throughout the country. Yeah. Um, how, how are you going to kind of do that? I mean, obviously, you guys can't just huff it around the country all oh, the time. How, yeah. how are you going to kind of scale that up and, and yep. get other people involved? Yeah. It's ops. We got a, you know, we have a playbook that we're developing that people can essentially take and operationalize a box. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Any opportunity for franchise possibilities on this? We're uh Every day we're debating we, whether yeah, or not that's the right, right path for the company. I think fortunately for the next three to six months, we don't need to worry about that right? because we just want to get this playbook yeah. right. And then we'll have the opportunity to say, well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a hybrid model. Yep. Maybe we'll keep certain mm-hmm. states that we love that we want to run it and then let others franchise other states or other use, yeah. right? Real but cool. 
lots of opportunities. Yeah. Have you found that the demand has been high in general for people? I mean, as they're starting to get more aware of it, yeah. for them, you'd have to bring the box out and yeah. come and play, yeah? Yeah, uh, on the Bay Area, certainly. Yeah. Um, just because we've been promoting out there. Like, it takes a little bit to like let the market know, hey, we're here. Yeah, sure. well, the um, company's still so young. Yeah, exactly. Mean, when I saw the finished product out here, I thought you guys have been doing this for years <laughs> to bring it to that point. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's terrific how quickly yeah. you've come that far. Yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. taken it and just parked it just on the side of streets and just say, hey, c come on in and hit. And people, yep. you know, people are like, okay, like there's an yep. enclosed space on the side of the street. People are telling me to come in. I'm, I think I'm just going to keep walking. Uh, <laughs> I've got puppies and ice cream in here. Yeah, one of those deals. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, once they, the ones that do decide to walk up and see it, you know, we, we get a lot of like police officers. Mm -hmm. We had, we had, we were in, uh, where were we in uh, Manhattan Beach or, um, where was that? Hunt Red Huntington H Beach. Hun Huntington Beach. Yeah, we did a charity tournament for for the cops. Mm, very it cool. Was really well, cool. no, the, the the first the first time where we had the uh, there there must have been Santa, Santa Monica. Santa, we were Monica. In Santa Monica. And we were just we posted up back of this parking lot, mm. and we didn't really get permission to park there. We just parked there. Yeah. And you know we're having a great time. Well, you know you know no one wants to tell it. Yeah, exactly. So, right, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly actually fine. a secret. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, so, yeah. it's all yours. Yeah. Yeah, fine, <laughs> um, you move it. It right. actually did get towed. It did get towed once, but How? that that was that was our fault. We we <laughs> didn't lock fault. it. So okay, it's, it's our fault. Yeah, it's a human somebody fault. thought they had a free simulator. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and Bill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 no name calling. No name calling. <laughs> <laughs> we love Bill. We love Bill. Um, but uh, yeah, so so we were Jake like posted on his Instagram. People started showing up. We're having a good time. This cop car rolls around like oh, oh like we might get kicked out. Cop car rolls around. I'm I'm like out there already prepared to like talk to these people. Window rolls down. I see a hand come out with a, with a with an iPhone, and I was like, either we're in like really big trouble <laughs> yeah. where they're documenting and we're gonna get sued, yeah, or this is about to be really magical. Yeah. So then they were like giggling like it was these two lady cops, super cool. They're like, what is this? And I was like, oh, you know, golf simulator. Do you guys want to come in and try it? So they actually parked the cop car and then came in and just hit golf balls with us. That's it cool. was so freaking magic. And then they, yeah. call, and they, called, and then they called up all their buddies. <laughs> One after another, cop cars start showing up. No like, oh, I heard there's a golf simulator here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, come on and, and take a swing. Yep. So we yeah. took pictures with everybody. It was, it was really cool. I could see that. I mean, in, in the in the ten minutes I was standing outside, the people getting out of the cars, they were just looking at it. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Thing? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Got to go. Check Plus, it. the fact that what I, I think is so brilliant the way you guys incorporated on the outside the, the the TVs and things like that to bring it to be like a very communal thing. Yeah. Because you know it's a huge space inside, but you can only fit just so many people. But it kind of keeps that conversation going. If you can watch the action from the outside, I mean, I think that that was one of the smartest mm -hmm. thing you possibly could have done it's there. like the like the the opposite of a country club C country clubs are built with walls around them right yeah. and you gotta like <laughs> battle your way to get in and once you walk in you're 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 walking on eggshells it's terrifying and so for us we're like we want it as open and as inviting as possible yeah. we want the screens out there we want to you know holler at the pizza come on in check it out music hit a shot blaring. get a yeah. couple swings yeah. we get the mm -hmm. music outside we got the speakers outside so it's it's kind of like the yeah the the i don't want yeah, it, it's kind of the anti-country club, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I could see well, that. Like I said, it, it is where where golf is going. Yes. There's just no doubt in my mind about it. Like I said, where it's opening up to this faster way of playing, a different yep. way of playing, a more welcoming way of playing. You know, obviously, we love golf, so not to knock the the quote-unquote cold way, uh, but it's just a compliment. It's yeah. more than anything. It's a compliment. It's a compliment like, to the course mm -hmm. in a like, lot of ways. Of course, we want people to get into golf maybe through our setup, but help them right play golf as well like get out there here's how you go and play a round like a real round because that's so enjoyable like we all know exactly. that like golf is fun they yeah. play pebble in your simulator and then they got and then they go yep exactly. yeah that's wild exactly all right well listen guys we appreciate you taking the time to come by here and see it like i said it, it's just an exciting impressive thing. yeah it's, it was so cool just to see you guys roll up <laughs> yeah. just like uh it, it's i don't know as golfers it's just something i, I love seeing more of and i I look forward to the day when we see these things all over, yeah. all over the place, and you've yep. got thousands of them. So you and me both. That's best, the goal. Yeah, yep. best of best of Thank luck you. with everything. Yeah, luck, and I appreciate you guys giving us the uh, the personal tour. Yeah, and thanks for having us on. Yeah. This, is, sure. this has been awesome. Yeah, yeah man, a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, thanks again, guys. Like I said, we'll put all the links and everything below, and so this way you cool. guys can take a look at everything that these guys have been doing. But uh, it's an exciting one, so thanks for stopping by. Yep, awesome. You bet. Thank you. Thanks, thanks guys. guys. 
All right, guys. So like I said, fun interview. I mean, if I could have those guys in the studio every week, I would. They're just fun guys to talk to. Totally. And I think I love their vision. Um, I love I love their how how well that they, you know, they complement each other in yep, that. Definitely. Coming from from a, a student and teacher relationship originally, mm -hmm. um, but how you know, because you get to see the game from both sides. Yeah, you know you what do. I mean. From a deal, from learning the game, and and Jake teaching the game, and how they can apply that to what they do with Drivebox. Because honestly, I think just a simulator on wheels by itself is a terrific idea. Right. But it's just it's the guys behind it that I think take it to that next level, and 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 what they can do yeah, with there, this. Thing. There's fire in their eyes uh, behind this project, and you know I'm excited because I mean not only do I want to use their service, but I want to invest in it. And maybe you yeah. know I, I just I believe in it. And I believe what you're talking about growing uh, the game and, you know, kudos to those guys for their passion and their vision, because they hopped on a plane, they left California, they flew to New York, they had to go pick this thing up, drive it here. I'm sure there was a lot that went into that yeah. with all the hitching it to the rental car and bringing it up here and everything. So that shows me how much they are like in love with this, this project, the passion they have for it. So good luck to those guys. I really can't wait to follow their progress. And I'm so excited to see as they expand um, and they start to have these all over the country. Yeah. I'm very excited because again, just growing the game of golf. And now you've got these you know, mobile golf simulators making their way around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, just again, bringing golf to people that might not otherwise have had access. Uh, and we're already, like I said, we're already seeing it on their social media accounts and just some of the pictures as you had talked about um, training and, and getting some, some sessions for youth golf involved. There's just so many avenues to this. So uh, I just think it's a terrific thing that they're doing, and we we're super excited when we saw it drive up here at our office. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm just really excited to follow the progress as Drivebox becomes a bigger and bigger thing. So make sure you guys give it a look. We'll put all the, the notes. Uh, I'm sorry, we'll put all the links in the show notes so you guys can check them out. Go to golfisty.com slash episode 403 so you can check it out. And um, we're just just a really fun one, Mike. Yeah. I, I'm just looking. I want to get back in there. Yeah. I want to get back in the simulator. I know. And I want to I try it again. I know. It's just too much fun. Uh, all right, guys. That's everything we have for the, you this week. We'll see everybody again next week.